Alberto and Atlanta United are your EMLS Cup champions. Palonetto comes into this event as I would say a favourite. Today, Palonetto gets the job done. Atlanta United will be in Copenhagen. was such a good feeling like I worked hard for get here uh, to try to qualify and I qualified I think I played really good so I was happy with that also I was like okay I qualified last year I couldn't play but now I qualify and I can play so let's get it and now turn turn the head turn the, that is the way exactly <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think at the day before the tournament, I was just like trying to focus on practicing. You know, I was just trying to focus on getting through knockouts, just you know, getting my points, my victories, and be on top four of the group. Well, hello then, and welcome to the Bella Arena here in Copenhagen. We're very excited for what is about to unfold over the course of the next four days. The man I want to talk to is this man right here, Paolo Neto. He's won the EMLS. He's representing Brazil and Atlanta. What are we thinking going right into the FIFA World Cup, Paolo? Yeah, like we work every day to get here and play this tournament, so it's great to be here and I'm excited. We've done some predictions back backstage. Every single one of the talent has predicted you to get out of the group. Does that put more pressure on you or do you like that? Uh, I like that, so I think it brings me luck, but yeah, I'm confident and it's a hard group, so I'll just play my game and see what happens. The first stage of the FIFA E World Cup begins with a group stage where players will be divided into four groups of eight and face off in a round robin format. All players will meet each other twice within their group, where each match counts for points three points for a win, one point for a draw, and zero points for a loss. The top four players of each group will advance to the knockout stage, a round of last 16, the quarter-finals, the semi-finals, and the final. Okay, good attack, good attack. Like in defense, sometimes Bellingham and Gullit are a bit like too much out of position, so he's just like passing around, passing around, waiting for this gap to open to like put an R1 pass to his strikers, basically. Mama, come on. Good goal. Good patience. Good patience. Sometimes though, especially when someone's doing an offside trap, sometimes just try to go to R1 pass here to CR7 yeah, and, okay. and turn to the goal. We can still do this, come on. Yeah, it was not the best start. Like, I had the draw, then I lost to Young. Young and Levy were the, one of my toughest opponents on the group. I thought that they were the like best shoe. Kind of got one point, was not good, but I knew that I could like reverse it in the next games. But I was just focused on trying to do my best on the the next game. for joining us here uh, as we rounded out day one. Get to play each other once more time. One leg of FIFA tomorrow for a place in those knockouts on Saturday. It's really going to start heating up tomorrow here in Copenhagen. <laughs> Performance from Paolo Neto today so far. He's ascended up the table. Paolo Neto, 25, he's gone through. Paolo Neto has just scored. The goals are coming in thick and fast.
first? And the mindset was like exactly the same of the day before, just play my game, be focused, and yeah, I started the day very well. Like on the day before, I just got one, one point on the two first matches, and now in the second day, I just got the six points. So both wins just gave me so much confidence, and then I started like with the four wins in a row. Yeah, the day was just kind of almost perfect. But yeah, I got first in the group, so that was very good. Top of the table, 28 points. Not quite as many as Umut with 30, but if you look at that score, you'll see uh, you only lost two games. No one else lost that little game. A couple of people lost three, but you're, you're hard to beat. Is that a uh, deliberate a approach from you, making yourself hard to beat? Uh, maybe, like, I think that I was really hard to beat these days, but I think that I need to continue like that, so I, because what I want is this thing here, so I, I need to keep like that. To keep winning in my games and not conceding goals. So, yeah. That trophy over his shoulder, that is what he's after. Listen, I know you're confident going into this. I know a lot of people are backing you. You've won the EMLS, you've won many things, but do you feel more confident now as a result of this? Do you believe in yourself more or has that not changed? Uh, well, yeah, I feel that the, just give me a boost of confidence, but I already was trusting myself, so I just want to keep like that and I'm really, really confident. Fantastic work from you, Paolo Nito. He's really another one you don't want to be playing against. And look at this man, Blanche. I knew Pichotto that he was a very, very good player. He won, I think, at the French League. And I was like practicing with him the week before the, the tournament. And even in the second day of group stage, I was like warming up with him. So yeah, I kind of knew his gameplay. I knew that he was like playing with five at the back. He was very, very good defensively. Our games on warming ups was almost all the time were like draws and this. But yeah, I just played my game. Two new lead is very, very important, especially in the best of two. So I just try to keep my game uh, and be a bit more defensively and calm, you know, just trying to hold the, the ball more time. Oh! 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 Neto, done, he's over. Surely that's it. Neto hits the back oh! of the Neto. 4 0. Yeah. Five left, that's in the back. All these guys supporting Palanay are going to be very happy with that one. What a game as well, what a game. Also, two completely different matches in the first game. We have Paolo Neto masterclass. Well, what a day so far for Paolo Neto, the EMLS champion as well from Atlanta United. He's talking to Mike after that win. Uh, thank you so much, Rachel. I am joined by Paolo Neto. I've actually joined his pod here, very comfortable seats. And you've looked comfortable in that matchup. How do you feel after that big win? I'm just so happy that I made through the quarterfinals now. And yeah, it was a very good game from my, my part. Like I just attacked it so well, defending also. So I just wanted to keep like that. And earlier this year, you won EMLS. Do you feel that that victory, because I know you've been grinding for it, helped propel your success coming into this event? Definitely, definitely, like, after winning MLS just brought me, like, a lot of confidence, and I think that confidence is one of the most important things during the game, so. And I know that it's relatively early here, but do you feel like you can win the entire tournament? Can you win the PPE World Cup? Yeah, like, I just think game by game, but definitely I think that I can win, but, yeah, I just think game by game, and hopefully I can get there.
Well, congrats. We look forward to the action. I'm going to walk over there. We're going to talk to Tuga. We, we look forward to more of your gameplay. Let's see. Two days ago, we started with 32 players. At the beginning of the day, we had 16. We are down to our final eight competitors. Paolo Neto taking on Emre Yilmaz, the final Team Hullet competitor left in action. You can see the lights kicking off. We're going into disco tech mode <laughs> because we're getting very near to kick off. Try to keep your to center mid just as central as possible. You don't even like have to like really pressure him all the time. Just keep him there, and then work with the wings for the left mid and right mid. Any change? Yeah, that's it. I can hear. Okay, guys, if you're wondering why we haven't started the second half, it's just been a minor headphone issue we're looking at, and we'll get back into it as soon as you can. In the meantime, me and Mike will keep you company. Come on. Looking to create space, it is an energetic start to the match from Paolo Neto! And a big mistake! This is exactly what Paolo Neto wanted. Three more! Right it's two more! It's the comeback! Could be on! Emre Yilmaz has thrown away a two goal lead here against Paolo Neto. be a very decisive goal, another defensive error, and of course, Marcelo and Emre Yilmaz are going to punish that one. The emotion was like uh, I knew that I could have doing do better on that game. Even if I lost, I could have do better because I I was playing good during the whole tournament. And I felt that exactly that game was like my worst game of the tournament. I was so close and I couldn't make it. Maybe the life won't get me another chance of that. And the feeling, but yeah, the feeling is just like sad to to lose. It is how it is, like Nicolas has been here five times. He was in the, in the final this year and lost some penalties. He was in the semi-final in the last edition and lost some penalties. So I just love to play the game, to play the, the tournament. So I would just work two times harder than I work it. 
this year to, to be here again and go far in the tournament. And yeah, I just want to be the champion one day.